Abdominal Examination for Obstetric Patient Before proceeding with examining the patient, greet the patient to build rapport and ask for permission to examine her. Briefly explain what you are going to do to her and that adequate exposure is needed. I'm Ahmad, a medical student. Today, I'm going to perform an abdominal examination on you. Uh, this will require you to expose your abdomen from the butt up to the hips. I hope this is for Proper exposure is from the nipple line to mid-thigh. However, to protect patient's modesty, let the patient know that you are only going to expose her from the xiphi sternum to the pubic symphysis. In any physical examination, the general rules are inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. First, inspect the patient's abdomen. Determine whether the abdomen is distended due to pregnancy or other underlying pathology. If it is due to pregnancy, it should be evidenced by linea nigra and striae gravidarum. Look for evidence of previous pregnancy, which is striae albicans. Apart from that, observe the umbilicus. Look for previous scars, obvious fetal movements, dilated veins, and if the abdomen moves with respiration, Next, perform palpation, which is superficial and grip palpation using Leopold's maneuver. Superficial palpation. Before we start, do you have any pain right now in your abdomen, madam? I'm going to start palpating your abdomen right now. If there is any pain, please let me know. Palpate the nine quadrants superficially to look for any tenderness of abdomen. of the nine quadrants of the abdomen, it is soft and non-tender. Determine the clinical size of the uterus per abdomen by palpating for the fundus. Estimate if the fundal height corresponds to date and confirm the height by measuring the symphysio fundal height using a measuring tape. Start measuring from the point where fundus was felt to the pubic symphysis. First, your final height measures 36 cm and the uterus is clinically at 36 weeks, which corresponds to the date. Leopold's maneuver, you need to perform fundal grip, lateral grip, and pelvic grip. The purpose of Leopold's maneuver is to determine the number of fetus, fetal pole, lie and presentation, the back and other fetal parts, and engagement of the head. Also, Estimate whether the liqua is adequate. I found that there is a single turn longitu with longitudinal line, calf leg presentation. The head is 5 feet palpable. The back of the fetus is at the right side of the abdomen. The liqua is clinically adequate. Auscultation Auscultate at the anterior shoulder where usually it is located at the site where the back is felt. Check the fetal heart sound by using Pinard stethoscope. Normal heart rate is between 110 to 160 beats per minute. There is presence of the fetal heart beat with a rate of 120 beats per minute. End the examination by thanking the patient and summarizing your findings.